Hey there, I believe you clicked on this video because you are already aware of the application called Zoom Cloud Meeting, which you definitely will be using in your business for video conference meetings. I know that Zoom already has some alternative that you are aware of, like Google Meet, um, the Microsoft Teams, Cisco Webex, and the rest of them. But this time, this application, this best alternative is offering all the features on Zoom Cloud Meeting for come closer free <laughs> and that is why I am tagging it as the best alternative to Zoom are you excited about this so am I let's jump right into the video so since the COVID pandemic and the global lockdown Zoom became very popular right you know um, I know there are, like I said in the introduction of this video, that there are several other alternatives, but Zoom offered a lot of features that was very necessary for the purpose of video conferencing, especially for people in the classrooms that want to share their screen and teach people one thing or the other using um, presentation slides and the rest of them, and so many other features that Zoom actually brought into video conferencing, making it very easy and very sweet, right? to have video conference especially during that covid pandemic and it's still you know a hot kick in the video conference platform so the video conference applications still date but then i have some um i have some thoughts with zoom all right so i always teach people online okay like in smartphone business academy where i teach different skills possible with the smartphone so i realized that you too should have realized that that once you are sharing your screen and want to access another application on either your desktop your laptop or for me your smartphone and that application also requires heavy consumption of data in fact let me give an instance if i'm teaching people canva online on zoom and then i try to access canva while zoom is also on there is going to be a clash in the use of my net in my network um, connection all right especially for us in nigeria here where we do not have 5g network i'm using a 4g okay we do not have 5g yet okay i'm using 4g all right and when you try to access these two applications that are both requiring heavy consumption of data zoom is going to start lagging and the next thing the people that are in the classroom on zoom is going to disconnect with you or you're going to disconnect with them so that's one thing you know makes freaks me out on using zoom for my video conference classrooms or for my video course or video um, classes but when i discovered this alternative i realized that it is different um so what's the alternative we are talking about we're actually talking about an application that you are already aware of it is on your smartphone right now and in fact it's one of the some of the my reviews on that application has gotten over 11,000 views or there out there about on my channel and that application is called telegram yes telegram has been so updated like i i love the developers of telegram right telegram is one of the um chat messengers that is steadily you know on type of updates that cannot be compared to anyone right cannot be compared to whatsapp cannot be compared to any chat messenger you can think of there are so many things that is capable that you're capable of doing on your telegram that is that so many persons use it for just that chat messaging i discovered you know i had seen this earlier on for my desktop where i can get to put up a video call all right share my screen you know um bring in people and also control the audience just the same way that i would have done on zoom but this time all for free i have actually been looking at the telegram business model that, and I, I i don't really know how they are making money but telegram application is one awesome application that the way i'm talking about it repeatedly it looks as if this video was sponsored <laughs> but this video was not sponsored right but it is my duty to bring to you awesome applications that you can leverage your smartphones to boost your productivity especially at your workplace so let's look at this zoom like feature of telegram all right 
So before you can use this on Telegram, you will need to have a channel on Telegram, all right? So I'm already on my Telegram application. So I'm going to tap over here, okay? And then I'm going to tap on new channel, all right? So let's take for instance that I want to teach people Canva, okay? So I want to teach people Canva design, okay? And I'm going to definitely write the description, um, learn, how to design with Canva, all right? Then I'm going to set up the, um, the image, okay? So when I've done that, I'm going to tap on save, all right? So next, is it gonna be a public channel or a private channel? And you know that on Telegram, people can actually search up your Telegram group and join. Remember that Telegram can house over 200,000 members in a group okay that is massive unlike none right but this is supposed to be maybe a private channel that only the people that paid for this class is going to assess it right so i've already tapped on private channel so i'm going to select copy all right so this is where i'm supposed to actually copy the link to the telegram telegram channel all right so over here you can also get the qr code so that people can just scan the qr code and join the telegram channel channel right so i've saved and then i'm going to add um people so um maybe i can just bring in um one of my teammates all right so now we have a telegram channel remember i said channel not group all right so i'm still setting up this channel okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select on the group info all right and then i'm going to select this edit button up here okay and then i'm going to select discussion so this group will be added you know when i create this discussion group it will create a second group inside the channel where people can get to communicate via test maybe ask questions or thereabout depending on what you're using this for though all right but if it's just somewhere you know a platform that you want to just have a conference platform or video conference with your team so you can just go ahead and set up a group but i'm talking like you want to host an online class okay like you would have hosted on zoom okay but if you're hosting it on telegram so this is the best approach that you can use to um ensure there is a good audience or group management all right so i can write canva design discourse or q a okay q a and then I'm, I should bring in, a, um, bring in the image, all right? So when people join in, so this, you can see discussion Canva design Q&A. So when people join the, um, the channel, they can also join the discussion group, all right? So because for anything you post on the channel, nobody can comment on that part. All right, but when they tap on discourse, okay, then they can all comment, then it links them immediately to the discussion group, okay? I hope you understand this though. So once I've done this, so this is all set up, all right? So this is all set up. You can also see that it have already added the Q&A group over here, okay? So now going over to the Canva design, so I now want to host um, a video conference, all right? I want to host a video call, okay? So I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to tap on this button up here so you can see start live stream, okay? So when I start this, so you can see start live stream or schedule a live stream. So once I am in this page, so people that have already joined the, tele the Telegram channel can now no be notified, okay, that the live stream is on. So when they plug in, they're just going to come in here. And you can also notice that in this live stream, this button over here is where you can get to control the audience that are in the group. So you can get to turn off their mic, um, allow them to speak or whatever, the way you would have also controlled your audience on Zoom, all right? So another feature that Zoom offers is, like I said in the beginning, is the, the feature where you can share your screen, all right? So when I tap on this button over here, you can see an awesome thing here, noise suppression. You remember that on Zoom, you can actually su um, suppress the noise in your background. 
So when you tap on this noise suppression, it can, you then enable it, okay, I've disabled it, so you enable it such that the noise in your background will be eliminated. Well, you might also think, uh, you know, ask me, but on Zoom, I can also control my background and change, use green screens and all of that. Well, it's not on this one, but you can, you should always know how to make your, your background to be well. You can't just because of that continue to pay for the other, except if you can afford it though. But like I said that, why I'm calling this the best is because it is offering you Zoom Cloud Meeting for free, all right? So oh, to continue, you can also edit the live stream, then the next is to share the edit button, then you can share your screen, okay? Telegram wants to capture, so once I start, start now, okay it have started capturing my screen so wherever i move to right the people in this group will be seeing it as a video okay so you can also see that i can turn on the video part all right and people can quickly share you know you can see the um the phone screen okay so this is for the phone screen so this is for my camera okay and then this is for the back camera all right so you can see that I can also share my screen. So over here, it says everything on your screen will be shared, all right? So now if I move to any other platform here, the people on that Zoom, or sorry, the people on that Telegram call or that Telegram live stream will be seeing what I am doing, all right? So still going back to that feature again, going back to that feature. So when I sit up on this menu button, you can see start recording, right? Remember that on Zoom, you can also record the call, record the live stream. So once I tap on this button, it will start recording. And this is another beautiful part. You know, when you compare Telegram, the cloud storage of Telegram with other platforms, other chat messengers, Telegram has a very powerful cloud storage. Like you have moved from different phones to different phones to this phone, okay? And I don't even know when it backs up. All right, but on WhatsApp, once you fail to back up at that particular point, you've set it to back up, you're going to lose calls, you're going to lose contact. In fact, most times when you transfer to another SIM, to another phone on WhatsApp, you're going to lose messages, but you may not lose the groups you're in. But on Telegram, it keeps it safe. So for instance, that I start a recording, Telegram is going to create another group, all right, another chat bubble, written saved messages let me show you what i'm talking about so let me just type saved messages all right so you can see this bookmark so these are things i've done since october 12th okay these are video calls i've done all right classes live streams i've done since october 12th that is saved right there for me all right so that is not entirely using my space okay it is entering into the telegram cloud storage all right so this is what you can only get on zoom if you pay for the premium service although i know that other platforms also has it but none of those platforms offers all of those things for free for free the free version of zoom doesn't extend more than 40 minutes this free version of google me doesn't extend for up to an hour all right and it even has a limited number of people that can join but this you can house over 1000 persons on your telegram live stream for free so why did I call it the best alternative to Zoom? Because it is offering you Zoom for free. I believe you can quickly jump on this and start exploring it right away after listening, after watching this. By the time you start having people, you can also see more and more features that Telegram is offering you. So I am just comparing the live stream feature of Telegram with Zoom because if we should dig into more things that Telegram houses, then we'll not end this video today. But I've done tons of videos, especially on Telegram bots that are in existence, all right, that allows you to do several things, awesome things with your Telegram application. So Telegram is not just a chat messenger, it's an entire awesome platform of its own with several features all for free all right so i cannot actually talk about all the advantages of positive things about the live streaming feature of telegram in comparison with zoom there is a feature on zoom that i love so much and that is the annotation feature and that is that feature where you can highlight something while you are live streaming or while you are sharing your screen or using the whiteboard you can 
point at something using the annotation button all right on telegram is not like that okay so i think to salvage the situation or you know to improvise this then you might need to get a um an external cursor all right sorry by external i mean an application that can serve as a pointer so that people that are your teaching can actually see what you are looking at but if you're using this on your desktop you remember there is a cursor on your desktop right so that is much more understandable but you know i always teach on smartphone productivity on smartphones there is nothing like that so you might want to download an application that is going to offer you that cursor function where you can point at things for people to understand or see what you are explaining aside that every other thing is just awesome just the way you would have seen it on zoom cloud meeting so another feature also is the part where people get to also share their screen okay so remember that on zoom people get to share their screen you can allow people to share their screen also as you share your screen so that is the part that i i think is not on telegram but i have not confirmed this because i haven't accessed the telegram live stream as a guest so once i do maybe i'm going to update this and tell you that yes it's possible it's possible for now i think your guests or your users or your visitors may not be able to share screen so you are only going to be the one that teaches all true all right unlike on zoom okay so with this i hope you got value from this video if you did let me know on the comment section what you think about this all new update on telegram and if you are going to be using telegram instead of zoom henceforth i hope that the ceo and the founder and the team on zoom do not come after me for doing this but it is my duty to always bring to you new updates on your smartphone productivity thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one was that video helpful you might want to watch more tutorial videos on my channel like the one i released recently and then hit the subscribe button up here and ring the bell so you always be the first to know when i release a fresh video that is if you want to keep watching videos from me and of course you want to <laughs> my name is frederick thank you for watching and see you on the next one